Okay, guys, it is here. This is the Winter Soviet Army from Great Escape Games. So I ordered this using their army selector. What should be in here is about 71 metal miniatures. There should be a 57 millimeter artillery piece, a mortar, and um, from Rubicon, a T-3485 tank, and the Gaz AAA truck. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. It is the GAZ-AAA truck. I've been so excited for this to come. I've been watching the tracking, uh, you know, religiously, which can be very frustrating when you see it just sitting in one city for a number of days. You know, it drives you a little crazy. But I will say I ordered this about two and a half weeks ago. I am in Idaho in the USA. This came from Britain. That is completely reasonable. So the shipping time, great. Uh, I know on Stewart's end with Great Escape Games, he really got this packaged and off quickly. I've added the duct tape to take away my address. Uh, so that's not how it comes. And as you can see, I have yet to even punch into this thing. I waited for my daughter to go to bed so I could get down here and do it on camera. And um, I will say right off the bat, I'm a little skeptical that he got this much stuff in this small of a package. You can see the size we're looking at there. Um, but we're gonna find out. I will suspend any judgment until we find out what's in this box. So I will take my rusty garage cutter here and break in. Whoo, I have been wanting to do this all day. I seriously considered just leaving work to come home and open this. But I didn't, because you got to pay for them. I guess I will say, um, right off the bat, this is 145 British pounds. That's going to run you about 200 US dollars. I think it was something like 220 with shipping, maybe a little less than that. And that is off their army selector. So right off the bat, we have some paperwork. What do we got? Advertisements, is this a sticker? I'm not sure. Some bookmarks maybe. Okay, I'll give you guys a look at all these. Uh, you know what, I, I totally forgot you guys were there. I just got super excited and started digging into this. Looks like an advertisement for Gamer's Grass. Here is the Great Escape Games logo for the Chicago Way, their other game, and this, uh, Possibly, no, this is not Dead Man's Hand. These are some 28 millimeter Hungarians. Very cool. Little extras in there. This, here we go. This is the Gunfighters from, um, from Dead Man's Hand. This is just a promo. Obviously not what's in the box, I hope. So, put those aside. And there it is. So, this box does indeed fit the T-3485 medium tank. Uh, I have yet to build one of these Rubicon ones. I've built a number of the Warlord models. And uh, I, I'm very interested in seeing how these stack up to the Warlord stuff. Or the Italeri. Italeri? I have no idea how to pronounce any of this stuff. I'm just such an ignorant American. Uh, here is the Gaz AAA truck. Also very cool. Uh, I think you get to choose also how you make it. Yep, you can have the the uh, dually or the single axle. Very cool. You know, there's look at that and set it aside. Yeah, so it does look like he was able to fit them. So I took two of these Soviet veteran platoons. What should be in these, and we will open them up. Uh, is two squads of nine guys and then a three-man HQ unit in each of these. Because I want the most guys I can possibly field. I'm actually worried I'm not going to get enough guys out of this. I built a list on Easy Army. I tried to model it, uh, model this order after that list. We'll see how close I did. We might have to add another unit. I'm kind of worried about they might be um, uh, modeled... You know, I might have to pick and choose. I might have to pick and choose rifles and and such submachine so guns. Okay, here we have the 57 millimeter anti-tank gun. Let's get that in focus. And 
I am indeed going to bust all these out of the package when we get them all out for you guys. You know, I saved this uh, for a reason. God, those look so cool. I am trying to remember not to curse. I'm trying to keep this channel clean. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult when you see how cool these little guys are. Okay. Now, one of these should be the Assault Engineers, and then I ordered another um, unit of infantry. So here are the Assault Engineers. Like I said, we're getting a quick look now. I will take these out of the bags uh, and, and spread them out on the table for you all to see. This looks like uh, another infantry unit. Ooh, a little damage there, but that is to the base. I'm considering cutting these bases off uh, because if you watched my last Stalingrad Soviet bases video, uh, you know what I'm going to do with those bases. I don't think I can do it with that metal there. So this should be another pack of infantry. Let's put that aside. Here we have a sniper team. Very cool. This is a mortar team. And this looks like the crew to the gun. Oh, I also got a machine gun. That's right, I forgot I got the medium machine gun. Uh, Against maybe some Soviet player could be laughing at the list I built. I'm not totally sure. I just wanted to put it together and uh, get something ordered. So you could see how tight they packed this in. Good job, Stuart. Nothing looks like it's really beat up. Like I've ordered stuff off Amazon, uh, bolt action stuff that came way more beat up than that. And there's an Amazon fulfillment center up the road from me. So, uh, very cool. Thank you, Stuart. We're now going to unbox uh, the unboxed and start busting open these uh, plastic packages. I had to get some water. It's about 105 degrees in my garage right now. So let's start with the, the assault engineers. I'm going to just see what the best way to do this is. I'll get them out of here, and then maybe we can get a zoom. Yeah, um, gosh, if I could show you guys the setup I have in here, it's hilarious. Maybe I'll put up a little thing showing you exactly how I have this set up in here. Okay, I think that'll work for now. This is the Assault Engineers. Get them back in camera. Wow, very cool. Very, very cool. In fact, I'm gonna take this camera off the perch and we're gonna go in. Sorry if this gets a little shaky. If it gets too shaky, I will just go back. Um, but here's what we're looking at. So you can see all the detail on these guys. That is very cool. I know sometimes with metal minis, it's hard to see the detail until you prime them. But I think you get a good idea that these guys are going to look great. And, and I'll make sure not to ruin them with that self-etching primer like I did those motorcycle guys. But God, yeah, these guys look so cool. You know, they are going to take a little bit of cleanup like you can see. You get that stuff. Little gum gums off the helmet, and like I said, I might cut them off the bases. So I did see a little damage on a base. Here's a hole in, um, man, where are we? In that guy's base. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna have to bend some of these rifles back a little. I just take that into account when I'm working with metal, and I don't really mind at all. Okay, we're going back up onto the perch. If you got a glimpse of what that is, I'll show you guys a, a picture in a little bit. Okay, so there we have the Assault Engineers going back in the bag. As far as scale, um, let me put this next to a Warlord plastic figure for you guys. I know that's not totally fair to put them next to a plastic figure, but just in case you are fielding these guys next to uh, another, this is the Winter Soviet, my first one that I just finished. I'll try to get some light on these guys. 
Um, so there's the Plastic Warlord guy. Here is the Great Escape Games guy. And you can see they are more or less exactly the same height. I mean, that is very close. Uh, you know, looking at pictures of them, I thought there might be a problem that, that these, um, the Great Escape Games guys would be a lot smaller and maybe even thinner. But I'm looking at them. They might be a little thinner, but it is very close to Warlord. Again, like it's not quite fair. Let me go get a metal guy real fast from Warlord and we'll see if we can compare All right. So here we have uh, the lieutenant from my my uh, airborne team or my airborne army. Here you have the Great Escape Games guy standing next to each other, almost the exact same height. And I think this is a question a lot of people probably have when they're ordering from a different manufacturer. You know, is this going to look good in my army? I'd say they're probably just a little thinner, but I don't think that's super noticeable. I think you could definitely put these next to each other on the table. Anyway, let's put that aside. Okay, let's get into the next bag. That was the Assault Engineers. This is going to be a longer video, but I do want to really get into detail on this for you guys. This is the machine gun team. Let's bust that open and see what's in here. There's the machine gun itself. Ooh. Got this padlock looking thing hooked around that guy. Two wheels. The guy with some glasses or uh, binoculars. That's a very cool figure. And then here's the gunner. So I'll give you the little tour again. We'll come off our post here. Whoop. Here's the machine gun team. Very cool. Yeah, that hat's awesome. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. Once I bend that rifle back. Or, oh, I'm sorry, that's not a rifle, that's a the belt of, uh, of ammo. Very cool. Back to the perch. Okay, that was the machine gun team. We've got, uh, I will leave the infantry squad out because we have those two boxes and I will just open one of those. And uh, you know what, maybe I have an extra HQ squad in here. I will give away that HQ squad. If you want to win it, um, I guess like and subscribe. That sounds like a good start, at least for my channel. And then uh, put something in the comment. Uh, just really anything. Just put a comment down there so I know you're in the running. This is the infantry squad. And I will send you that HQ squad if you would like. Uh, I'll give it a week or so. We'll see who replies. Here is the sniper team. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'll have that eight extra HQ squad, and we'll look at it in just one minute. Really, this channel's so small, probably if you reply, you're going to win. <laughs> That's just to be honest. Here's the sniper team. Very cool sniper. Sorry, my glasses are falling off my head. It is so hot in here. Um, <laughs> very cool sniper team. Yeah, that's awesome. That guy's gonna look great. And you got the guy with the binoculars right here. Very cool. Okay, there's the sniper team. Get them back in the bag. And next is the mortar. And then we will get into uh, the artillery and one of those platoon boxes. Um, veteran platoon. Okay, here is the mortar. 
basically the same parts you find in the Warlord one right there. Uh, got the guy holding the shell, the guy with his hands over his ears. That's a very cool addition. Let's come down off our perch and take a look at this. Yeah, that's awesome. This guy is really cool. <laughs> that's going to be one of my favorites, I can tell. Okay, there you have the mortar team. Zoom in on those boys one more time. Whoop, maybe not. Alright, let's get them put away. Let's get that artillery out. And then get into a box. A platoon box. Let's see if these pop open the same way the Warlord ones do. They do. I think Iron Cross, that is Great Escape Games game. I have not checked that out. I heard it is pretty cool. Okay, so this gun is resin. That's interesting. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm not going to take this out of the bag just because of the small parts. But I will try to do a zoom in for you so you can see the resin parts. I kind of would prefer that that is metal. But um, we'll see how it all paints up. I just like the heft of the metal guns sitting on those big bases. But and, and then here is the crew. Here's the gun crew. This is a very cool one too. Um, I'm gonna kind of scroll through these guys. Maybe that's a little bit. Better way of doing this. <laughs> One day I'll have a good setup here, but for these first few videos, whatever. I'm sure you guys understand. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, let's get into one of these boxes. Um, and I don't know how long these guys are gonna take me to paint up. Probably a while. <laughs> like I posted that one. I posted this guy to Reddit. Uh, and I said just pick this apart and be brutally honest and most people did give me really good feedback I really want these Soviets to look so cool and I'm going to do the winter Germans for the same thing and that's how that base turned out by the way if you did watch the last video it really turned out good if you want to do a, an urban base that's a really good way to do it okay here's one of the platoon boxes Yeah, got some tape on here. Nope, just kid proof. Well, I'm gonna open it like this. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't, but that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, we got the lights and everything in the picture. All right, it's okay. Got a feeling this is not how you're supposed to open this, but I've got another one. Yeah, I don't know. That is, that's tough. Let's just go ahead and cut it open. Hmm. Yeah, it is like taped to the packaging. Jeez. That's a little odd. I would have liked to save that. Um, maybe it was just that one. Hmm. Or maybe there's another way to open these that I'm not seeing. But yeah, I really had to tear that thing apart to get in there. That's too bad. Anyway, here is the Veteran Platoon box. Do a little zoom. Here we got the HQ. Here we have the nine-man squad. Oh, I'm sorry, two nine-man squads because there are two teams. It comes with an A set and a B. And then the army builder actually allows you to build another, you know, to get another one of those, which is what I did. Ooh, see an arm there. Not sure if that is interchangeable or just fell off on transport. Let's see here. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see which comrade is missing an arm. Well, hmm. It's hard to see. Hard to tell. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage here. Like I said, I'm not too worried about that because I am going to cut them off. It looks like, no, that didn't really get into the boot. Um, and I am going to cut those bases off to stick them to something. But let's get a closer look at this. Very cool. You know, and these are going to take some work. Got some bent up rifles. It's totally okay. You kind of expect that out of metal figures and I don't really mind at all. I love the character on these guys. Oh, I saw this guy in the picture. Where is he? Yeah. That guy's screaming. He looks very cool in the picture. Oh, and that's the guy without the arm and it looks like it is a removable arm. So that's cool. You get to kind of choose what you do with that arm. Yeah, altogether very cool. So that's one of these. I don't have them organized, but one is squad A, one is squad B. Um, and each platoon comes with a, an A and a B option. Then you can also add another one into the infantry or, or into the army selector. Now let's get that. HQ unit out. Like I said, because I got two of these. If you want one, let me know in the comments. Here's what we got. This could be yours. <laughs> or I'm going to send it to my brother. Or send it to a friend or something if no one replies. So if you do want it, like, subscribe. Hit me up in the comments. Just mention anything and I'll just pick a random person. This guy is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. God, that is awesome. That is so cool. I can't tell if he's got a mustache, if he's got the Stalin, or uh, oh, I gotta prime these up and, and get another video or take another look at these. Wow, that guy's cool. And his buddy over here. I have to clean that guy up a little bit. He's going to look so good when it's done. Just awesome. Let's get one more look at this guy. And I am probably going way long. I want to get into working on these guys. Yeah, that is so cool. Finally. Our buddy over here, love that hat. Oh, that's so cool. That red star is going to look so good. Awesome. All right, well, that's it. I'm not going to unbox the plastic ones because they're a little tough to keep track of all the parts. And I'm sure there's a video up of someone doing those Rubicon models. So I got another one of these. That was an add-on that I put um, because I wanted to make that list. So I have another one of these. Let's, I guess let's take one more look at everything we get in this army box. You can get more, you can get less. This is what I chose to build. So, truck. Really cool tank. I think they were like that in the box. Soviet veteran platoon. Torn up packaging of a Soviet veteran platoon. Here's all those guys. Whoop. Then we have 57 millimeter artillery piece. We have assault engineers. We have a mortar team. We have one additional infantry squad giving us a total of five plus the assault engineers. Here is a machine gun team. And last but not least, snipers. And so what I'll probably do, I'm probably gonna make all of this stuff 
uh, make a, a really cool Stalingrad army. And then I might do one or two boxes of the Warlord plastic ones too, just in addition to get big scale Stalingrad battle. I mean, if we can build this on a four by eight table, this is my goal to get done within six months or so. Right now, gotta work on this. Then we'll add in those plastic guys or maybe we'll work on this, then I'll get a hold of Stuart again at Great Escape Games, and we will get uh, a winter German army. We'll put those together, we'll put them on the same cool bases, and then we'll add a bunch of these little guys, the, uh, you know, the plastic warlord Soviets, and have a huge Stalingrad war. That would be amazing. Anyway, this is what you get. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex. This is Bolt Action Only. Again, this is from Great Escape Games. I think it's who greatescapegames.co.uk. I am not sure about that. I will put it, the website in the description. I'll also put a link to the Army Builder tool uh, for the Winter Soviets. And really could not be happier with Stuart. Really delivered this in like right on time you know it was out the door right after i ordered it here within three weeks from britain which all in all given all the circumstances is really really reasonable like this is a really good thing this i think is a killer deal the character on these guys is amazing and i just can't wait to see him painted anyway thanks for watching my name's alex this is bolt action